Indian Motorcycle sent a shot across Harley Davidson's bow when it unveiled the 2023 Sport Chief. Until then, the motor company enjoyed a monopoly in the club style cruiser market with its Lowrider S and its sport touring cousin, the Lowrider ST. At such a disadvantage, Indian knew it needed to make a splash to make headway in the performance driven category. The Minnesota-based OEM called in reinforcements, equipping the club-style model with Brembo-branded binders, Pioleenite Dragon tires, KYB inverted fork, and Fox piggyback shocks. That brand name pedigree pairs perfectly with Indian's ergonomic adjustments, including a sculpted quarter fairing, 6-inch handlebar risers, mid-mounted pegs, and a solo seat. Carly's Lowrider has all but birthed the factory club-style segment, and it remains the king of class for a reason. Show a suspension, HD badged Brembo calipers, and Dunlop rubber bolts to the Lowrider S to that lofty throne. However, the Indian Sport Chief's rebellious attitude presents a credible threat to the Lowrider's reign. Only time will tell which model wins in the showroom, but it's down to us to determine which club style cruiser wins on the spec sheet. Both Indian and Harley bring out the big guns when arming Sport Chief and Lowrider S, respectively. The motor company turns to its largest production engine, the Milwaukee 8117, for its hog. That air and oil cooled, 117 cubic inch or 1923 cc V twin lays down 125 pound feet of torque at 3500 rpm, though HD bypasses all horsepower claims in 2023. The same goes for Indian, and its Thunder Stroke 116 keeps pace with 120 pound feet of torque. The model's 679 pound curb weight only aids the big twin Harley's 1 cubic inch and 5 pound feet advantage. Compared to the Sport Chief's 685 pound wet weight, the Lowrider S edges out its rival in power to weight ratio. However, when considering the Indian flaunts a sport mode, stoplight to stoplight drag races are all but luck of the draw. Straight line speed isn't the end all be all, though, and both club style competitors bring their handling A game too. The bar and shield relies on a tried and true 43mm inverted front end with a triple rate spring and a preload adjustable coil over monoshock. By contrast, Indian calls upon a pair of Fox piggyback shocks and a 43mm upside down front end from KYB. Aside from the setup differences, the Sport Chief offers 4 inches of rear wheel travel while the Lowrider S yields 4.4 inches. At the 4, it's a draw, with both models listing 5.1 inches of wheel travel travel. Still, the two cruisers trade blows with the hog prioritizing agility thanks to its 28 degree rake, 31.3 degree lean angle, and 63.6 inches wheelbase. All the while, the chief upholds stability with a 29 degree rake, 29.5 degree lean angle, and 64.6 inches wheelbase. For that reason, Harley narrowly nabs its first round in this showdown, but you need more than power and fleet feet to win a fight. You also need smarts. When it comes to tech, the Lowrider S keeps it simple. The LED headlight and taillight conform to category standards, but the 4-inch analog gauge commands the spotlight. An analog tachometer captures classic cruiser cosmetics, but the digital speedometer brings the softel into the now. That cluster also allows users to cycle between gear, odometer, fuel level, clock, trip, and range readings. The Indian, on the other hand, takes things up a notch with its 4-inch TFT touchscreen display. Not only does the brand's ride command system put multiple interfaces and layouts at the rider's fingertips, but it also offers turn-by-turn -turn navigation and Bluetooth connectivity. Alongside those features, the Sport Chief also comes standard with multiple ride modes, ABS, and rear cylinder deactivation. It's safe to say the Indian is a clear winner in the electronics department. With just $700 separating the Harley-Davidson Lowrider S and the Indian Sport Chief, it's nearly a toss-up between the two performance-inspired cruisers. The Sport Chief commands more dough at $18,899, but it backs up that markup with premium componentry and electronics. Similarly, the Lowrider S lives up to its $18,199 MSRP with its proven platform and agile handling for a cruiser. 
The Indian may win on paper, but Cruiser customers also place a premium on the intangibles. From aesthetics to brand loyalty, from exhaust note to ergonomics, countless preferences factor into the Cruiser buying experience. In the end, when Harley Davidson and Indian motorcycle vie for the same slice of the market, the customer is the ultimate winner. What are your thoughts on the two motorcycles, which would you pick and why? Let me know in the comments section. If you like this video then smash the like button and if you'd like to catch more motorcycle news and content, consider subscribing to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.